welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we will be studied about the python object oriented programming concepts python has been uh, has been an object oriented language since the time is exist due to this creating and using classes and objects are downright easy this lecture will help you to become expert in using python object oriented programming support however here is a small introductory introduction of an object oriented programming to help you so first of all we just overview of the object oriented terminology so first of all you can see here a class a user defined prototype of an object that define a set of attributes that characterize any object of class the attributes are data members class variables and intents variable and the method assessed via dot notation then we see the class variable a variable that is shared by all intents insistence of a class class variable are defined within a class but outside any of the class method class variables are not used as frequently as instance variable are on the third number you can see the data member a class variable or an instance variable that hold data associated with a class and its objects and the fourth number you can see the function overloading the assignment of more than one behavior to a particular function the operations performed varies by the types of objects and or arguments involved now we see the instance variable a variable that is defined inside a method and belong only the current instance of the class now we see the inheritance inheritance is most important in the object oriented programming so inheritance is the transfer of the characteristic of a class or two other classes that are derived from it means you can derive one class from another class it is called inheritance so you can see the instance a uh, individual object of a creating class a certain class an object obg that belong to a class circle for example is an instance of a class circle now we just instantiation the creation of instance of a class is called instantiation now we see the methods a special kind of functions that is defined in a class definition is called method and now we see the object a unique instance of a data structure that is defined by its class an object comprises both data member class variables and instance variables and the methods at the last you can see operator overloading the assignment of more than one functions to a particular operator is called operator overloading so this will be the some overview on the object oriented programming concepts thanks for watching see you in next lecture